culture, our very own people will be wrong. I have two amazing guests in the studio today, mm -hmm. and it's my privilege, it's an honor because Nanka gave me the you know the go ahead to introduce them first. I have to honor Nanka. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to introduce our guests in the studio. The first person I will be introducing is. Pastor Philip Short. Well, Pastor Short, right? Yes. Pastor Philip Short. I need to go for an ah, orientation. Really? Now, literally, <laughs> literally. Pastor Philip Short. Yes. yes. <laughs> he's an artist, he's a pastor, he's a teacher, and also an author. It's amazing to have you in the studio today, Mr. Yeah. And it's not the first thank time, so it's as though you're accustomed to the set already. Good. Well, thank you so much for coming. And also, I have um, in the studio. <coughs> Joseph Cholom Jack, and he is a retired civil servant. He is the first to work in the art and culture industry from the northern zone of Plata State. He is one of the founding fathers of the Big Hawk Birom in, in Birom Land, that is Birom Educational and Cultural Organization, mm -hmm. and Birom Land. He is the author. He's an author. He's a researcher, a producer, and director of the first ISM. Of Bureau. yeah, Birom, yeah, <laughs> and he is a consultant of Isam Birom 2026, mm. um, 2016, 2017, and 2018. Welcome to the studio, sir. Thank you, it's You're amazing welcome, to sir. have you. Thank and you. what is our focus today is preservation of the cultural heritage, and that is Birom to be precise. Mm. So, there's a lot we have to talk about. There's a mm. lot, um, in as much as we are all accustomed to Birom people, yeah. Birom culture, yeah. Birom all, but it's it feels good to know know the details where this because knowing how heritage the mm. history makes you more intimate with them yeah and know how this works so to set the ball rolling I'll let Naked take it up of course so I'm going to start with you Pastor Philip shoot yes yeah, so where we're talking about our culture how to preserve our culture and then we are actually looking at the names you know when when you look at Burum land their names sometimes can be very very interesting yeah. <laughs> you know so can you please tell us about the etymological and metaphoric perceptions of Burum ancient names mm. yeah the history thank you very much for this opportunity mm. yeah when I talk of name name is a level Mm. Or a designation <coughs> a person is known for. Mm. To know the name of a person, that means you know that person very, very well. Mm. Name describes a person. And it shows, okay, this is the kind of person, and, and it determines, okay, this is, how, this is the kind of life that the person will live. When I talk of etymology, etymology means root or foundation, mm. origin of either a word or a name whatsoever as it uh, etymology mm. yes but uh, in, in Birom actually they use metaphor a metaphor is direct comparison mm. compare just say as uh, this is a human and uh, making comparison of a person uh, with uh, certain animals and when you're talking about that you're, you're not saying that that person is that thing talking about some attributes some attributes and uh, yeah, we were discussing just years. It's a man that gives his name to the animal because it's the man that names name every animal. Mm. A man giving his name to an animal, or, or uh, a man giving a name to a name of animal because an animal is passive in this aspect. Mm. Man is the one that is active because man is the one that gives the names to the animals. And uh, okay, it's, it's the man that carries his name, give to the animal, or, or he carries that animal name to give himself man is all the center of of, mm. of concern okay you know don't, don't you think you know like um, um uh, people now because you know they say when you name someone a particular kind of name mm -hmm. when i call you um what name now that people grow up and they behave like, like precious. that yeah. Yeah. like when you say precious I mean precious grows special. up and then she behaves like a precious person thing then when you yeah, name a child one kind of name the child grows up and then behaves so when a child just grows, like jabez in the bible yeah, right? goes way what they say ah, is the name that's what don't you think it has something to do with that Re really in my initial explanation i think that's what i mentioned i mm. said to know that person's name is to know that person very very well Mm. Because a person is his name. Hmm. Yes, um, well, all you're saying is 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 all correct. Now. Actually, wow. well, it's what he said really got me. It says to know someone's name, you know, the, know person the person very well. I'm still trying to digest that. Maybe, 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 maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> maybe he has something to say. <laughs> okay, do you have something to say about the etymological and the history of names of Burum people? Um, well, 
I think he has said it all. Okay. Uh, what I would like to uh, emphasize here is that people tend to have a very negative notion mm. of Biram names. And uh, I don't blame them because they don't know the entomological uh, uh, basis. Mm. And uh, just like he said, uh, man is the center of the world. Let me borrow this saying from the the pioneers of modern civilization after the mm. the dark age people like uh, francisco bococo okay. who said man is the center of the world mm. and that is the basis of their humanistic approach so the better man like me and like any other person on earth is the center of his own environment mm. so he gave himself names or inherited the names from his forefathers or generations in the past and his interaction with his environment including trees plants animals and things like that yeah. had that kind of association of his own nomenclature going on to animals yeah. it's not like Birom got names from the animals for themselves as he has said that brings me to ask this question right uh, okay. what are the ancient names and meanings in the Birom land yeah, so some ancient of, names, some of the names and their meanings uh you have palm you have doom. What does Pam You mean? have Gyan. What does it mean? Their Her name and their meaning. Okay. Well, Gyan is one of the deers. It's a giant deer. It's an animal. Huh. It's not fiat like lion. It's meek. And it's, ha it's one of those that the Biron people used to hunt. Hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Doom is, is, is derived from Badum. It's one of the the uh, buffalo uh, uh, class it, its head is almost close to the chest you can hardly see the neck mm. that's badum mm. uh -huh. why why badum what's the meaning of it's, the it's the name of a person given to that man, animal and that animal now assumes the position of that human <laughs> oh so it's the name of a person given to an animal yes. not an animal given to a person no no no, no. no, no, no. all okay. names are uh, either given to animals or derived from from experiences, events, mm. conditions, circumstances. Mm. Okay, and like for the, the for the names like bot, which means frog. Bot is naive. Is is the frog? Is it doesn't bite unless under some spiritual evilness. Okay, mm. the characteristics of the frog. frog. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so him, <laughs> him that means ego means uh, characteristics of uh, an ego. Of course, yes. Mm. Then and there's talk, okay, sorry. There's talk so that many, means there are so many things like uh, that's in that boat. Mm. Boat is a frog actually, but there are things in that boat. He, he doesn't find trouble. That's and it. if it's pushed to the wall, uh, it bites. And if it bites, that person will uh, never, uh, you never survive. Uh, no. I say, in, what, in that, in that boat, fight. it doesn't bite unless it The belief is that you, when you are giving birth to children, the ch children die. You give birth. They say, they say somebody must be responsible. And mm. a situation whereby that troublemaker, if he comes. This time around, he's not going to find it easy. I am very enlightened. You know, that brings me to, 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 <laughs> I am. to, to say this. There's this part in my church. Yeah. He's actually very quiet. He doesn't do for <laughs> trouble, so I can actually understand okay. how they yeah. give the names and they, you know, when you see when you see the person and the name, there's some there's a relationship. Really? Uh, when we hear bot frog or, or talk fish, <laughs> and it makes you feel, why are they naming them animals? But now I'm, I'm being enlightened that it's the character the result of the animal that you uh -huh. so I want to know from human beings how about animals. fish hello how about fish talk fish what is the character of fish like it, so the fish is slippery is smart <laughs> Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And the meat is sweet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know who is going talk. You're saying he, he's slippery. He's wise. Yeah. yeah. He's beautiful. Yeah. He's, he's sweet. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know someone who bears talk, and, and I wish the person. Okay. Uh, yes. I hope he's a nice person. Yeah, the person is nice. Uh -huh. His ways. You know. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. It's enlightening to know that this yeah, is um, yeah. how names so what are the ancient names and their meaning what like as i told you earlier uh. like gang like doom like chun now gang is one of the the deers the giant deer mm. uh -huh. it's not fierce like a lion or buffalo mm. and is is hunted 
Mm. Our people used to be great hunters. Our people used to have maybe two or three major occupations. Mm. Agriculture, f uh, f farming, I mean agriculture, uh, hunting, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe games, games. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like uh, we have a game that looks very much like uh, hockey. Wow. We have Durham have a traditional hockey. They call it wow. a shot, they call we, it a we don't shot. know how they got it. Yeah. But if I begin to refer to the origins of the Durham being a part of the Bantu and being the, the seven lost children of Israel, wow. then I can now remember that they must have inherited that hockey mm. from the ancient world. Mm. Uh, uh, do they still do uh, the hockey? <laughs> do we still do the hockey? Hello? Do, they, do we still do the hockey? Oh, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. They have left it. Oh, wow. They call it Sha. Sha. Yeah, they call it Sha. 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 Anybody bearing Sha mm -hmm. is means hockey, bro. Hockey. Okay, hmm. Yeah. Uh, up, to I up, to night, you, you. up to now, if you're talking about, f even if it's football, mm -hmm. you they say, yes, we are going to watch Sha. They're taking them. We want the Sha. Mm -hmm. We are going to watch Sha. Because they use that hockey. The mm -hmm. hockey in those days. No, I know. Yes, when you talk of with names, I think the other time when I came here, I say, names using uh, plants, animals, domestic. It's a general name that everybody is not just mm. a bureau. Even if you go if you go to Europe, go mm. to US, go to Asia, they use this a lot. Mm. Names like uh, you say chickens, martins, these are names of birds. Mm. Names like bull. Oh. Names, names like uh, like shoe. They can even give name shoe. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, if you go to Israel, like names like Dokas, even just gonna say lion, the type of Judah. Hmm. Describing that is this description. Hmm. And uh, some tribes here in, 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 in Nigeria, yes. like uh, Agu, hmm. it's a name in the southern part of Nigeria, hmm. which means lion. And as I went into research, other tribes within the, the, the plateau, I come to discover, like all the, the Ngas people, they are all generation names. Because the names are now dynamic, they are changing it to a, to a, gen, to a generation now. Okay, so the old generation that is what yes, you have to say. Let me add on what yes. he is saying. Okay. It might surprise you to learn that uh, certain words, certain names mm. in Biron exist in Ibo, in Yoruba, mm. in Tif, in, uh, with the Chinese, the Koreans. Yeah. Like eagle is Kim, mm. and it's the same eagle that is Kim in China that is Kim in Vietnam. Wow. And the same eagle that is Kim in one tribe in southern Cameroon. Wow. And Nyam is a name. The Tip people have Nyam as, as meat or animal. Mm -hmm. And Birom say Nyama. And Birom have come to adopt Nyam as a name. And the, 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 the Fisera people say Nyam. Yeah. And people from Taraba, the Joli Nyami, they say Nyami. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? And the brown people have a vest, a pot that is known as a vest. Mm -hmm. the, the Chinese have it as one, and the brown people have it at one. one mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Is Imagine the distance between the brown land and China. And China. They actually say it sounds like Chinese. Let, 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 me, let, China. let me tell you something. It sounds very likely. I have browsed on the internet, yeah. and I have discovered that some of the similarities in Africa mm. amongst the Bantu descendants, which the Burum are a part, mm. because according to that, the, 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 the black Africans are the first people mm. to come to Africa, not the whites in the North, North, North Africa. Mm. And um, they, 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 they shared a language. Mm. Eh? from the seven lost tribes of Israel. Mm. Some of them went to China. Mm. That is why they, they transferred some of the Israeli names. I said seven lost tribes, not just one tribe. So the seven lost tribes had different names, and some of the names were imported into Africa. Oh. Where we the blacks, yeah. the Bantu, mm. we have them. Otherwise, why should the wrong people have the same names with uh, meaning words? Like moi in Igbo is, is it me? And the will say mea. And then the, 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 team, the team will say tong. The will say tong. The team will say tio. The will say tio. The team will say ngo. The will say ngo. That's mother. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Anang, Efik, Ebibio, eh? they say no me, the Burma will say no me, mm. then they will say a basimbo, mm. then the Burma will say a bong mm. That's please. Mm. That makes us ask this question about <laughs> mm. what, is, what is considered, right? Yeah, yeah, what? actually, they, they, they've actually given us uh, some of the uh, um, basic things considered mm. in. 
picking names. these names and naming people but I, I don't know if you can still um, elaborate elaborate on that okay. what's what are the things considered when naming when giving so names in yeah. Beyond that? yeah you consider there is you consider situation situation you find yourself mm. will determine the name and I hope you are experienced as for the family or for the child mm. huh. yeah we have you have to be put into con consideration names are prayers Mm. So yes, I give him back to a child. Okay, I'm, I'm praying at least this child will go mm. just to reach a as, as, as certain things. Mm. And even the, uh, as they do all those, <coughs> as all those things put into consideration, yes, the, 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 that person that is bearing the name, we also have a responsibility. And when you grow, just yes, my name is also person, and that the meaning means strength. So I have to be agile. Mm. Yes, yes, my name, the name of my name is gracious. So I need to be gracious. Mm. I need to be kind, gentle, just as my name. And in, and sometimes even parents just say, ah, but then you begin to behave, just say, ah, you, do you remember you are so so person? You're about, you know, people uh, does that a lot. Because they have some of the names, yes, in a situation whereby you become so loose, so aggrieved, you want to do something, they just mention, they will call that name. Mm. As soon as you just call that person, uh, that, that, that very name will state that word. Huh. That person will just be become because he has to be himself. Doesn't say that name is him wow. because he has he has forgotten who he, he is. is until they call his name and say, yeah, no, I'm not the one now. Let me be myself." Hmm. Yeah. So that brings me to ask this question. Yes, you've studied it already. Yeah. Um, the responsibilities that a person will carry yeah. bearing a name because I am precious, I should act precious because I'm a blessing, yeah. I should act like a blessing. So, what other responsibilities does a person carry when bearing a name? Like you are given a name, are there responsibilities because you have that name? Everybody is given a name, and by their own tradition, right from childhood you are reminded of the significance of that name mm -hmm. and your responsibility is for you to carry that knowledge that explanation that meaning of that name mm -hmm. as part and parcel of your inner self mm -hmm. so that at any given time you are confronted by any challenge more so if it reflects on the meaning or definition of that name mm -hmm. then your real self comes out to represent why you are given that name. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. For instance, Chun is buffalo. You understand what I'm saying? And in, in Burum, if a person is given the name Chun, mm. and maybe he has some brow with some uh, bad guys, oh. and at a point when he discovered that he's about to be overwhelmed, then he said, Me Chuna, hmm. Me Chuna, that's Me Chuna, that's buffalo. buffalo. Then the characteristics of the buffalo will come wow. in him to put on the fight to defend himself. Actually, <laughs> so, you know, now, now with all of this, we understand that there's, there's, there's a shift. People now don't really like to name. Um, use tribal names anymore? They yeah. use you, well, there's a shift yeah to English names. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think what was responsible for that? Yeah, yeah. yeah let me add to that. Okay. Not just to English names, even to new generation names new. within the language. Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There are reasons. Those reasons, uh, at least there are criticism. Maybe they criticize you, and that person uh, it fall into the second one. Ignorant now. Hmm. Since you receive a criticism, since you are ignorant, you don't even know the meaning, you don't even know, okay, the what is this name is about? Then you just say, okay, the best thing is, let change me, him. let me do what, let me change, let me go to a, a better one. And uh, there are moder modernism, you don't say modernism, as we are in now into a modern world, what do we have to do with those ancient things, hmm. those old things. So let me go into modernism. Okay, the other time I came here, I said, what is modernism? I talk about when, when, when they always talk about globalization, I say, no, if it is globalization, let it be globalization. Let it not be Americanization. Let it not be Westernization. Mm -hmm. Let it not be certain people. So I say globalization. Let everybody be carried alone. Mm -hmm. We have some things to export too. Mm -hmm. uh, not just to import everything. Mm -hmm. uh, even in the name says we have some things to at least to, to export because we have, we have something too. And that's, that's uh, uh, modernization. But in the mind, pick thinking about modernization. So okay, let me just leave my own. Mm -hmm. There are foreign influence. There are uh, uh, influence of, of foreign cultures too. Mm. And there are uh, uh, human activities. 
mm. that made a lot of things not to be seen. One of human activities is like tin mining. You just go into every every, every, every bush and do mm. whatever. Hunting our human activities. They hunt all those animals. We cannot see them now. Mm. Because like I was right there, I just trying to get the animals so that I can put the pictures so that people can see vividly. This is that animal. They are nowhere to be found. So do you, do you think it's a threat to uh, the 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 Brom culture? Like if these things are being lost, they are going extinct. Do you think it's a threat to the culture? Yeah, that's the thing. There are, there are other things like in, in culturation, also okay, taking another culture, and uh, there are other things like intermarriages, maybe marrying mm. from a different language. That person comes, she maybe you a lady yeah, from a baby. cultural boring. Uh, okay. She borrowed some boring. of the cultures mm. and mm. whatever. Yes, they are, they are really a threat because when say, okay, this is what the trend is going on, and how can I remain in the ancient things? How can I just cement this? Just look at the ancient thing as so myopic, not knowing that there's other other time I say, okay, we are the ones in this generation that we are my, myopic. Yeah. But the other generation, they are very, very much knowledgeable because they know what to eat so they can live long. Have wow. now yes, uh, we eat what at least just uh, at the age of fifty, you are you, you are going. But they live even to one hundred whatsoever. Wow, it's it's really amazing getting from that perspective. So finally, sir, yeah, yeah, you, you like can round out, but I will, you add to that. Yeah. But finally, briefly, um, give uh, is there hope that Birom, the cultural um, values of Birom and all that comes with Birom land, will not go extinct. Part of uh, Birom. All the cultural ethics, the values of Birom land. Is uh, there hope that it will not go extinct? That to be here from generation to fade away. It will not, will not fade away. Oh, they are not flowing any any longer. The the, the values, the ethos, the ethics, the etiquettes, traditions, norms, and all this, mm. they are not flourishing today, right? Yeah. yeah. Is there hope that it will keep flourishing? Oh, to keep going. Yes. Uh, you see. I would like to add on what he said. Yeah. The issue of threat to people's identity has has given us some of the understanding to think of going back to the system of education that our people had. Mm -hmm. Like in the evening, there was a room for elders around five, five, six o'clock children would be called to go there and to sit with the grandparents to listen to stories folk tales and all the rest of it mm. now that one is no longer going Sorry. and uh, as you said to keep these things going we have to go back and start a platform mm. or a situation or you call it a, a community theater mm. where some of these things can be researched into mm. and then be brought to the fore mm. and be presented to the uh, uh, target audience like children mm. and young people mm. otherwise otherwise from my studies from my research mm. We are losing very, very fast. It's not only brown people, mm. particularly yeah. ethnic nationalities that have been engulfed within minip municipalities. Mm. Their identity is yeah. is wearing out very, very fast. I, I think. We for, instance, to, for instance, for instance, Bayon language now. Hello, I'm coming. Okay. Bayon language now, huh, is not used in the church. Mm. It's not used in the home. Mm. is not used in the market is not used in public gathering and I can bet you there are Birom University graduates of 50 years of age mm. they cannot speak Birom and write Birom language mm. so you see we are going out mm. now that leads to why I as a person with the sympathy of this kind of situation had to introduce a platform known as the Rome identity mm. and by the grace of God mm. that platform is being enjoyed by so many including some of our professors mm. Rome professors mm. and from the uh, responses we, we gather 
it's like we are all rubbing minds, learning from each other, mm -hmm. reminding ourselves of those things that we have forgotten, and now thinking of how best mm -hmm. can we move ahead. Mm -hmm. Now, now I'm thinking of organizing an open air situation. It could be an advocacy, mm -hmm. or an intervention, or a conference where the room identity can be reviewed mm -hmm. within the 21st century, exactly. looking at the challenges mm -hmm. and then provide solutions for the way forward. Mm -hmm. If we don't do that, honestly, the identities of almost all the Nigerian nationalities will go. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy the Yorubas, the Igbos, the Hausas, they are up, mm -hmm. you know, producing films, writing books, mm -hmm. and so many other literary materials mm -hmm. that go on to remind their language. Their languages are being taught in the university. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we are appealing to the, our universities. I understand University of Jos, mm. within its uh, Department of Languages, is prepared mm. to have any ethnic group develop its language mm. and then bring it to them, and then they can now work out how it can be taught yes, and what yeah. else. Oh, I really have to go to this. We will really, really. I hope I'm in Yeah, you said a lot. So, you have said so a lot. Very, very important. Importantly. Okay. You know, uh, we are using, we are just using Birum case study. But this is a challenge to so many tribes, even within the plateau, mm. Nigeria and even outside. I yeah, went yeah. for a, for an international uh, conference. The Arabs also complain. They say the modernization is taking away their, their traditional culture. Mm. And that's just, that's just the thing. Mm. So let's look at it, we are at least let's holistically. It's, 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 yeah. not, not it's, it's, so it's a I, I agree with what you're saying. We, we are really like, running out of time. Yeah, like the Chinese and the Indians. Yes. They are not given to this rush borrowing. That is why they, they still retain their culture, their culture intact. Yeah, so. We really hope that things get better and I really am oh, I'm in awe knowing mm -hmm. the, the custom and tradition of the Biom land in yes. a very holistic form. Yes. And I really believe that we're going to have you again in the studio so we could talk more detailed <laughs> about your plans and the plan for Biom culture at large. Mm -hmm. But we have to cut it up right now. We have been in the studio with Joseph Cholom Jack and also Pastor Philip. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. It's amazing to have you, and we hope to have you, you again. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Okay, we'll take a breather, and we'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. This is still Teen City this morning.